Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set a static IP address on your Raspberry Pi over ethernet using your PC. So at this point, you've set up your Raspberry Pi. The SD card is in, the power is on, the light, uh, the red light is solid, the green light on the Raspberry Pi is blinking. You've got it connected to your PC over ethernet and the ethernet lights are both solid and on. So this means that your Raspberry Pi is up and running correctly and you've got it plugged in over ethernet to your PC. However, you may have had trouble for one reason or another pinging dex.local, the um, dynamic uh, host address. So what we're gonna do is set up a static IP address that we can reach the Raspberry Pi over the network on. So to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you really quick our network sharing center. So I open up the network and sharing center. And I, you can see that I'm connected. I can see my local area, my um, local area network is connected. And if I look at that, um, it's connected, it's sending and receiving information. Um, I wanna do one quick thing. Um, you should have this already set up, but if I go to properties on here and I scroll down to internet protocol version four TCP IP four, and I double click on that. Just make sure that obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically, that these are both clicked. If they're not, then you won't be able to, the dex.local um, hosting by Bonjour won't work. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. I'm assuming you have Bonjour working as well. Either way, we're here to do this now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm back at the local area connection status. If I click on details, I'll notice that one, two, three, four, the fourth thing down is auto configuration IPv4. And this is four sets of numbers starting with 169. So in my case, it's 169.254.207.211. This is important because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jot that down. I pull up the command line just as an easy way to jot a note down. I'm gonna type it in. It's 169.254.207.211. It's important to get the exact numbers right here. So now that I've got this number, I'm just gonna hit return so I save it, but it's, in the, it's, it's there in the command prompt. I'm gonna, you'll see that all this is gonna disappear because on my Raspberry Pi, I'm gonna disconnect the power and I'm going to remove the SD card from the Raspberry Pi. So you saw the LAN was disconnected. Now you can only see the wireless network. I'm gonna go ahead and put the SD card on my PC and pull that up. Should hear it connect. There we go. I'm gonna continue without scanning and I'm gonna open the file explorer and open boot or the SD card. Now, when you look at this on Windows or on a, a Mac, you'll see that there are only a limited number of files here and they all have some interesting names, but we're looking for one called cmdline.txt. Looks like command line with um, a command shortened down to cmd. So cmdline.txt. Now if I double click that or I open that with the standard notepad, should be able to open it the last, the last word on this file should be root weight. So all I wanna do is very, very specifically, I wanna type in space and then the letter I and the letter P and then the equal sign, no space in between there. I'm gonna go back to that number that we copied down, 169.254.207.211. This last three digit number I'm gonna add one to it. So in this case, 211, I'm gonna make it 212. So let me just go through that really slowly. 169.254.207. So these three numbers, these three sets of numbers are still the same. Then dot 211 is the original, so it's gonna be 212 is the new number. I'm gonna save it. You can see I control S on that, and I'm gonna close it out and I'm gonna come back in File Explorer and eject my disk. Remember this number, I'll just jot it down so we don't forget, it's 169.254.207.212. I'm gonna take my SD card out. 
with the power off on the Raspberry Pi, put the SD card back in. I have not disconnected it, it's still connected over Ethernet, so it's still connected to the same machine. If you watch right here, you'll see the wireless show up in just a second with the power on. There we go. My local area connection is now connected. That means my Pi is connected over Ethernet. And all I should have to do is come back and I'm gonna type ping this specific number, ping 169.254.207.212. You can see there you go, I've got a response. And I'll also just, this may or may not work for your system depending on what's set up and what's happening with it, but I'll try again, dex.local. So ping dex.local as well and let's see if it's recognized. There we go, it too is recognized. So now I can access the Raspberry Pi, I've got a connection over ethernet and I can go back into um, my uh, browser and I'll try both actually, I'll do dex.local and you'll see that the uh, Dexter Industries uh, Raspbian for Robots comes up. Um, I can also alternatively type 169.254.207.212, the number that I assigned it earlier, the Raspberry Pi earlier, if I click that, same thing comes up. So both dex.local and both uh, the I, static IP address that I assigned are now accessible. So if you have to assign a static IP address using a PC over ethernet, that's how you do it.